Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2022 romance miniseries called A Taste of First Love. The opening scene begins with a girl named Sun Wee Ai having a drink with her boss and colleagues. Wee Ai works as a sales executive for a cosmetic company. While drinking, the boss, Mr. Chian, informs his employees that the chairman of HBE Commerce, named Bei Zileao, will be joining them. Wee Ai's co-workers believe Bei is a mysterious person whose business is currently booming. A few moments later, Bei arrives and asks if everyone is enjoying the peach beer he ordered especially for this business meeting. When Wee Ai sees him, she wonders how he can be the chairman at such a young age. Bei introduces himself and shakes her hand. As Wee Ai walks out to the washroom, Bei follows her and pulls her onto the couch asking where she has been for such a long time. Dismissing him, she questions why he made her drink the peach beer, despite knowing she is allergic to peaches. He responds that he had no idea she would be present. After this, he applies anti-allergic ointment to her neck to prevent itching. While doing this, he tries to strike up a conversation, but Wee Ai prefers to discuss business matters only. Obliging her, he invites her to join his company, offering more appealing facilities than the current one. Wee Ai claims that she's not the type of girl who will give up everything for her career. However, Bei believes that she is the type of girl who will do anything for her relationship. It is then revealed that the two were once in love. Wee Ai says that things have changed and that they should remain completely separated. Saying this, she gets ready to leave, but just then, Bei holds her back, causing her dress to tear. He apologizes to her and ties his coat around her waist. Before departing, Bei asks if he's still not the right person for her, but Wee Ai leaves without responding. The movie then flashes back five years when Wee Ai arrives to pick up Bay. She informs him that their relationship is over because she became his girlfriend solely to exact revenge on his older sister for stealing her ex-boyfriend. She admits that she never loved Bay because he's a car mechanic and she's the daughter of a businessman. In the present, Wee Ai returns home where her boyfriend Ren Ming Yuan hugs her from behind. He asks if she wants to go out tomorrow as he has received a bonus from work. Wee Ai expresses her desire to visit the opera house, but Ren asserts that the tickets are too expensive, so he convinces her to go to a restaurant instead. In the next scene, as Wee Ai is sitting with her friends, one of them named Q discusses the weather forecast and how the rain will continue until tomorrow morning. Q then devises a plan to spend their evening at a bar playing fun games. Later at the bar, Q announces the game's rule. The two people who receive the King and Queen of Hearts are a pair and must spend the night in the same room. Shortly after, Bay arrives, shows them his card, and asks if he can join them. They all agree, but Wei Ai decides to leave. As a result, Bay offers to pay for the food, but only if everyone participates in the game, forcing Wei Ai to stay. Soon, the game begins, and coincidentally, Bay and Wei Ai become a pair for the night. Following this, Wei Ai walks to the restroom, but Bei stops her as before. He asks her if she ever loved him, to which she says no. She tells him to forget about the past, just as she did. However, Bei claims that he still loves her, and that for him, their relationship isn't over. He then gets close to kiss her, but stops and walks away. Later, Wei Ai receives a call from Q, who invites her to an opera house performance, which makes her happy. After the performance, Wee Ai thanks Q for arranging the VIP seats, but the latter reveals that it was her friend, Bay, who provided the tickets. Soon after, Q receives a call from a guy who tells her to make an excuse and leave immediately. Q follows his instructions, and as soon as she departs, Bay approaches Wee Ai and offers her a ride home. On the way, when he asks her why her boyfriend didn't accompany her, she acts as if Ren was preoccupied. Bay then tells her that if he doesn't have time for his partner, he's either undeserving of her or no longer loves her. Upon arriving home, Wee Ai hugs Ren and tells him that she's tired. However, Ren remembers that he hasn't returned his friend's bike, so he goes to return it, making her sad. Outside, Bay notices Ren leaving and calls Wee Ai to ask if she's really happy with Ren, but she hangs up the phone without responding. The next morning, Ren notices the performance tickets and confronts Wee Ai for attending it despite their limited budget. She clarifies that Q's friend gifted them the tickets. Hearing this, Ren warns her not to owe anyone anything. Later, Ren considers buying a new apartment, so he visits a real estate office. When the manager inquires as to when he plans to purchase the apartment, Ren asks for some time to arrange the funds. During this, he notices two girls leaving with a gift. He asks whether he will also receive a gift, to which the manager responds that the gifts are only available to customers who have purchased the apartments. A few moments later, Bay arrives and hands Ren the shower gel as a gift, making him happy. He also reveals that his girlfriend loves the same brand. As the two talk, Bay asks Ren if he cares about his girlfriend, 
and the latter replies that as a man, he should spend less on girls, or else they will expect more. After work, Ren returns home and gives the shower gel to Wei Ai, but she notices that it's only for men. Just then, Ren receives a message from Bei, who offers him spa club tickets. This excites him, and he shares it with Wei Ai, saying that he has reserved tickets at the spa club. However, at the club, Wei Ai is dissatisfied with the vegetarian food. She tells him that he should have researched before booking the ticket, but Ren simply tells her not to argue while eating. A short while later, Ren receives a call from Bei who invites him to meet Mr. Liang, the CEO of a well-known software company. Hearing this, Ren gets excited and informs him that he'll try to get rid of his irritating girlfriend. Bei asks if he's sure, to which Ren replies that his career comes first, and once he's wealthy, he can have any girlfriend he wants. Ren then makes a business excuse and leaves. Following this, Wei heads inside and relaxes in the water. To her surprise, she sees Bei and decides to leave. However, in the process, she slips and falls on him. She stands up quickly, and Bay asks about her boyfriend, to which she responds that he's coming. Bay then tries to convince her that Ren is uninterested in her. To prove his theory, he leads her to Ren to overhear his business conversation. Bay then continues to say that Ren has no time for her and doesn't prioritize her. However, Wei ignores him and walks away. As time passes, Wei and Ren start having arguments over trivial matters. In the midst of all of this, Wei receives a call from her father who asks for more money. One night, Ren is drinking with his friends at a bar, and one of them asks him if he plans to marry his girlfriend. Shockingly, Ren replies that he dated her solely because she was a businessman's daughter, but now she has become a burden. When Wei overhears this, she becomes enraged and confronts him. She grabs his drink, pours it on him, and walks away. When she reaches home, she packs Ren's belongings and tells him to leave, ending their relationship. Elsewhere, Bay's assistant Kim tells him about Mr. Liang's invitation to meet some lovely ladies, as both of them are single. Bay refuses, claiming to be busy. Following this, Bay asks him about his girlfriend, and he replies that they'll be marrying soon. He then advises Bay to never give up on his true love. The next day, Wei is having a drink with Mr. Qian, but when she walks out to use the restroom, he mixes drugs into her drink to render her unconscious. After she drinks it, Mr. Chiang carries her to a hotel room and tries to touch her. At the same time, Bei arrives, punches Mr. Chiang, and calls the police. Following this, he takes her outside to get some fresh air. After some time, Wei regains consciousness and finds Bei holding her. He tells her what Mr. Chiang did, but she doesn't believe him and walks away. In the next scene, Wei senior, Liao Yinchu, confronts her about not bringing in more clients. She then hands her a list of well-known clients with a one-month deadline. One of the members on the list is Bei's sister, named Ling Fei. Wei Ai goes to see Ling Fei, who still remembers how she abandoned her brother. She then exacts her revenge by instructing Wei Ai to find all of the pearls she dropped in the pool. In order to get the deal, Wei Ai submissively agrees and jumps into the pool. Ling Fei then takes her picture and sends it to Bei, saying she taught her a lesson. When Bei sees this, he becomes concerned, so he rushes to the location and gets her out of the pool. He wants to help her, but she prefers to do it herself and returns to the pool. However, she soon begins to feel dizzy and is on the verge of collapsing. But before anything bad could happen, Bei quickly pulls her out of the water and takes her to a room where he takes good care of her. The next day, Wei meets with Ling Fei and gives her all of her pearls. However, Ling Fei claims that one is still missing and refuses to agree to the deal. She also brings up the past, but Wei Ai asserts that she can dump whoever she wants. At the same time, Bei arrives and asks his sister to leave. Later at home, Wei Ai discovers the truth about how Bei rescued her from being assaulted by Mr. Qian. The next morning, Wei Ai goes to Bei's office to thank him for saving her. In reply, he asked her to assist him in selecting an outfit for his upcoming conference. Upon arriving at Bei's house, Wei Ai discovers that his closet is a complete shambles. As a result, she organizes everything and selects an outfit for him. He then asks that she manage his closet from now on. Hearing this, she wonders why he's still interested in her despite the fact that she has mistreated him. She also says that she's broke and that he'll get many girls who'll meet his standards. Just then, Bei hugs her from behind and promises that he will truly love her. Sadly, even this time, she ignores him and walks away. The next day, Wei Ai and her senior Yin Su are at Bei's office where he agrees to deal with their company, giving all credit to Wei Ai. Later in the evening, Wei Ai is out for her evening walk when Bei joins her. He tells her to rest for a while and offers her a drink. During this, he asks if she truly despises him, to which she responds that it's a secret. After a while, Wei Ai becomes inebriated and Bei drives her home. As he prepares to leave, she stops him and surprisingly expresses how much she missed him. Furthermore, she tells him not to leave her. In the next scene, Wei is at work when the manager informs her that she has been promoted. 
Wei Ai is overjoyed, so she decides to treat her co-workers. Yin Chu, who is envious of Wei Ai, devises a plan against her. After work, they all go to a bar, where Yin Chu orders a peach-flavored cake. Soon, Wei Ai gets drunk and walks on stage to perform. However, her allergy soon sets in, causing her to itch and undress. Seeing this, the people in Yin Chu begin to photograph her. A little while later, Bei arrives at the bar and takes Wei Ai away. On the way home, he learns that Yin Su is behind all of this, so he instructs his assistant to keep an eye on her. Upon reaching home, he gives her medicine and puts her to bed. The next morning, Bei reveals that Yin Su was the one who plotted everything. Yin Su also appears to be sharing business secrets with the rival company, so Wei Ai, Q, and their manager confront her and report her to the police. The following day, Wei Ai calls Bei to thank him again for saving her. In exchange, he invites her to accompany him to his place. Later, she visits Bei's place and discovers that he has painted several paintings. She also discovers some of her own paintings and finds it embarrassing. She tries to destroy it, but Bei stops her and mentions that he can pay for them. When Wei Ai refuses, he begins teaching her how to paint so that she can do better next time. One day, Wei Ai prepares a painting and enters Bei's office to show it to him, but she discovers Ling Fei inside. Wei Ai inquires about Bei's whereabouts, to which she responds that he has gone on a date with the daughter of a rich businessman. She also tells Wei Ai to stop pestering Bei, as their statuses don't match. As she walks out, Wei Ai sees him with another woman named Liang Wang King, causing her to be upset. But in reality, Bei is completely uninterested in Wang King. The next day at work, Bei appears concerned about Wei Ai, but his assistant consoles him by saying that if she's jealous, he still has a chance. Following that, he calls Wang King and agrees to deal with her company on the condition that she help him. On the other hand, Wei Ai is discussing hiring a model to promote their product. While looking through the model's photos, they come across a picture of Wang King. Q informs her that Wang King is one of the top models in the current market, and as a result, Wei Ai decides to hire her. In the next scene, we see Wang King doing a photo shoot for Wei Ai's company. During the break, Bei arrives to pick up Wang King for lunch, and they also invite Wei Ai. While they eat, Bei acts like he cares for Wang King, making Wei Ai envious. However, the latter cleverly texts Q to arrange a handsome man to pose as her boyfriend. A little while later, a guy arrives and speaks lovingly to Wei Ai. He even holds her hand and takes her with him. The same night, Bei approaches Wei Ai and admits to knowing about her phony boyfriend. He also clarifies that there is nothing between him and Wang King. Following this, he forces her to sit in his car and drives fast, scaring her. He demands to know the truth, but Wei Ai remains silent. Just then, an emotional Bei asks why she dumped him. In hopes that he'll stop the car, she finally reveals the truth that her father was imprisoned because of his business, and she didn't want it to affect Bei. Hearing this, he comes to a halt and asks her why she's rejecting him now. Wei Ai expresses that the chasm between them has grown wider and that she doesn't deserve him. After this, Bei tells her that he doesn't need anything superficial. All he needs is her. He also promises to protect her and be there for her in any situation, which makes her emotional. After that, they begin dating, and their first date is a haunted house challenge. After the date, Bei drives her home, but before they leave, they kiss in the car. Their relationship continues to blossom, and one day, Wei Ai asks about his hobbies. Bei responds that he enjoys geology and reading about stars, planets, and galaxies. After learning this, Wei Ai decorates her room with stars and lights to mimic outer space. She also expresses gratitude to him for never giving up on her, to which he responds that he's content as long as they're together. They are about to kiss when a phone call interrupts them. One day, Wei Ai is on her phone when Ling Fei approaches her and slaps her. She yells at Wei Ai, accusing her of seducing her brother for financial gain. Wei Ai, who is completely stunned, asks what she's on about. Ling Fei reveals that Bei has been paying for all of her family's expenses for quite some time. Hearing this, Wei Ai rushes to Bei's office and discovers her father requesting more money. She confronts the old man and tears up the check. Following this, Bei sends her father away to speak to her in private. Wei Ai shouts and asks why he didn't inform her, and Bei's assistant Kim reveals that her father was in debt and was being pursued by loan sharks. Bei has paid off all his debts and is now covering his living expenses. Kim also reveals that Bei did all of this so that the old man wouldn't pressure Wei Ai. Hearing all this, she apologizes to him and promises to repay him before leaving. After this, Bei disguises himself as a teddy bear to cheer her up. He even sends gifts to her in public. Wei Ai advises him not to send gifts in front of her co-workers because they will ask for a treat once they learn he's her boyfriend. Hearing this, Bei declares that she will be solely in charge of his money after they marry. One day, Wei Ai is walking down the street when a few people approach her and throw litter at her. 
They troll her because of her father's bad business activities. Devastated, she walks over to Bay's office, but just then, she hears him talking to Ling Fei. Bay claims that he's just being nice to Wei and that once she's into him, he'll dump her and exact his vengeance. This breaks Wei Ai's heart, and she walks back home. The same night Bay arrives at her house and inquires what happened. She tells him to stop acting and be happy, because she's already heartbroken. Hearing this, he realizes she overheard his conversation with Ling Fei. He tries to explain that he lied to his sister because she continues to plot against them. However, Wei Ai expresses that she doesn't want to be in a relationship with plans and plots, so she begs him to spare her. A few months later, Wei Ai sees the news that Ling Fei was the one who spread her father's news and directed people to attack her. Also, it was Bei who cooperated with the police and assisted them in apprehending his sister. When she realizes Bei was not on his sister's side, Wei Ai heads to his office. Upon reaching there, his assistant informs her that Bei has gone to reminisce about the good old days. Wasting no time, Wei Ai starts searching for him at all his favorite spots and ends up at his house. The movie ends as she finally discovers Bei, who was looking at her picture and the two of them finally reunite.